Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I am Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Kohorst. Hey. And today we are going to be tasting a couple of bourbons from New York. The Great Jones Distillery. It's the first distillery to open in Manhattan since before Prohibition. It's over a hundred years since they've had any distilling. Oh, wow. Now this whiskey wasn't made at this distillery because it's only been open for like six months. Okay. But what it was made, they're uh, a sister distillery to a distillery up in uh, the Hudson Valley area, I believe, called the Black Dirt Distillery, named for the real rich black dirt that's uh, uh, that there. Area. And, you know, they grow all their corn and grains, everything in the, around that distillery and uh, uh, distill whiskey. And if I'm not mistaken, this might be the distillery. I remember talking to Dave Shurek several years ago saying that he was helping to set up a distillery in the New York area. And this might have been it. But they're making good whiskey. And they're bottling it under the Great Jones uh, label here now. And we got two here. We've got a traditional bourbon, corn, rye, malted barley, and a four grain bourbon that's corn, rye, wheat, and malted barley. Okay. Uh, both of them are probably four years old. There's no age statement on it. I like the packaging. It's a very 1930s Art Deco look, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> the type, the font and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and the amber glass, which is interesting because, you know, amber glass was very common in the 30s because they used the amber glass to cover, cover the fact that uh, uh, their whiskey was so young and didn't have any color hardly. <laughs> But this is actually, it's got a nice color and everything, but I, I do, I kind of like the amber glass with this yeah, packaging. Yeah. yeah. So, so they're not trying to hide anything. They're just paying uh, 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 respect to the 1930s and the uh, post-prohibition era, I would say. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a bottle recently that looks anything like that, so it's pretty original. Yeah. Very attractive <laughs> package. Mm-hmm. So we've got two here, and we're actually going to try something different today, too. That's right. We're going to do the cranberries and pecans as also, but we're actually going to be tasting it with a Hershey, Hershey Dark Chocolate Kiss. Um, we did this down in New Orleans, and that's what they gave us was the Dark Chocolate Kisses and everything, and everybody seemed to like the idea of comparing it with uh, the chocolate. And, uh, you know, I could have gotten better chocolate from Kelly down at Art Eatables. But I, uh, I think it's a good idea to get a chocolate that everybody can find. That's fair, yeah. Who doesn't love bourbon and chocolate? Yeah. That's right. You know, and if you don't like dark chocolate, try it. You could do the same thing with the Hershey milk chocolate kisses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of my favorite pairings with uh, anything from Maker's Mark for some reason. Like, Oh, uh, well, any chocolate. bourbon goes great with chocolate, but I yeah. have to admit that Maker's Mark goes really well with a with a chocolate, milk, yeah. cho milk chocolate in particular, in mm. my opinion. Yeah. So, the first one we have is the Great Jones Bourbon. This is uh, uh, an 86 proof, no age statement, traditional bourbon. I visited the distillery and picked up these two bottles here back in March. And... Uh, I like the tour. You know, it's a very nice little distillery. It got a little combination pot still, column still. Uh, I was able to talk to the distiller and uh, uh, taste their white dog, and uh, the distiller seemed to know what he was doing. And I have to say, his white dog was pretty solid. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, you can tell a lot by the new make that they they're doing. All right. Nice color. Nice color. You know, for four years. I mean, it, it's, what, it's kind of a straw color. You know, it's not yeah, not real dark. But, you know, for four years, aged in New York, they don't get the hot summers that we do. Right. You know, and, they, and their whiskey is all aged up at their distillery, the Black Dirt Distillery, because they can't age whiskey in Manhattan for because of the fire risk. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> so when they make something, they have to send it to the... Uh, other distillery to be aged. So let's nose it. See, I'm getting a 
a little bit of like an apple mm -hmm. and just a hint of anise. That kind of black licorice. Black licorice. A little little hint of anise. What's that spice in there? Is it just like an allspice, you think? Or you see, uh, to me, all I'm getting is the anise and spice-wise, you know. Spice -wise. Of course, I've had a cold for the last two weeks, so maybe my nose <laughs> isn't quite up to... <laughs> me as well, it's, yeah. But it's got a nice nose. There's <clears> nothing <throat> wrong with it. You know, for a four-year-old whiskey, this smells great. So let's taste it. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that apple. And I'm definitely getting a little allspice cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a little white pepper towards the finish. Yeah, white pepper. And, and a little bit of that anise as well. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's kind of a nice a nice blend of sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and I don't remember this being real expensive and, you know, it's your typical small distillery prices in the $40 range. Oh, okay. Which for New York City, that's, you know, Manhattan, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, nothing there is 40 bucks. Right. I think a pack of cigarettes there's 40 bucks now. <laughs> yeah. So let's try this with the cranberry. Let's see what happens. Now that really brings out the apple. Kind of reduces the pepper spiciness. It gives me like like almost caramel apple vibes. Yeah. Um, I was going to say the vanilla comes more of a caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like a caramel apple at the fair. You know? Yeah. Pretty tasty. And, uh, and even like <clears throat> to build on that even you could get like a little bit of meadiness in there too. Um, towards the finish, yeah, like the allspice kind of turns into a nutmeggy kind of thing for me. Yeah. So man, yeah, that's a. I would say I like that better with the crayon right now. Right. Than neat. Yeah. They both are good. Both but are I agree good. with you. Yeah. Might make a good Manhattan, maybe. Mm, yeah. Fitting since they're made in this. That's right. Yeah. Are... <laughs> so let's try it with a pecan. That's good too. That's very good. That brings out that nutmeg. Yeah, definitely. Nutmeg and maybe even a hint of cinnamon. Mm hmm. Mm. And then on the finish, I'm getting like just a little hint of chocolate. Mm hmm. That's really tasty. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm really enjoying that drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of chocolate, let's try it with a Hershey Kiss. This is exciting. <laughs> Yeah, we did this in the New Orleans when we did the tasting, and uh, people really liked it when we added the chocolate, so I thought it was fitting. Oh, that really brings out the caramel and the bourbon. Mm -hmm. And it also brings out... God, what is it? it almost apricot? Yeah, so, yeah. It's a fruit. A pear or something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can't quite put my, my finger on what that what that is. Yeah. It, it took out a lot of the spice. Yeah, it took out a lot of the spice, a lot of the oak. Mm -hmm. And the finishes. It's more of like a just chocolatey and creamy. Yeah. Um, not very spicy. Yeah, you know, the bourbon almost lost in the finish over the chocolate. Yeah. I think I think in this case, for me, like, the chocolate kind of overpowered yeah. what was in the glass. Um, it didn't do it a lot of favors. I mean, it went well together. Yeah, it was fine. It tasted good, but yeah. you're not, like, when you say, like, when you're like, when I would get a cocktail, I want to be able to taste that bourbon. Right. It's almost like... The same taste. thing with the chocolate. Yeah. You want to be able to taste the bourbon. Yeah. But I think... For you me, know, it like, might do better with a milk chocolate. Maybe so. 
I think for me, like you go with the crayon or the nut. I think yeah, you know, those those both were the best. I personally taste. thought the cranberry was the best. I think so too. Yeah, which is rare for me. I usually <laughs> go with like, either neat or the or the pecan. Yeah. So the next one we have is their four grain bourbon. It is uh, corn, barley, rye, and wheat grown in New York. It's 90 proof. No age statement, so it's going to be the four years old probably. So it might be some five year mixed in with it. You know, it isn't a single barrel, so they can. So they do four grain. I guess they don't have the percentages or the mash bill of what they use. Right? No, they don't. <clears throat> so nice. Similar Once again, color. yeah, similar color. You know, it's kind of a straw colored. Mm -hmm. The nose isn't as strong. It's a much lighter nose. Mm -hmm. I'm getting just a little bit of vanilla. So getting the, like that apple. Little apple, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Little oak. But not a whole lot else. No, not too much. Yeah, very simple it nose. Feels, yeah. So let's taste it. Much stronger, more robust taste than the nose would imply. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting like... For me, it's like it's maybe like a, a gr Granny Smith, more of a. See, I'm not really getting an apple. I'm getting almost like a lemon drop. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm getting like that kind of like you know the Granny Smith's a little more sour, you know maybe. Yeah, that, but yeah. yeah. So I think like yeah, I'm getting a little sourness, but. Um, Get a lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. A little oak. A little oak. Um, the finish is not too long, but not. I'm still feeling it a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's... It's a, nice, it's a pleasant finish. Yeah. This would probably go well in one of your whiskey sours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could go with one of those right now. <laughs> I made one of those the other day for my sister for the first time, and she fell in love with it. The little foamy <laughs> egg on top, it, it just it yeah. does something to it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try it with the cranberry. Well, that really brought out that lemon drop to me. Yeah, you're right. It is just like like a lemon head. Yeah. Remember those candies? They're a little sour. Mm. I'm thinking of just lemon. the old-fashioned, traditional hard candy that's called lemon drops, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, I love those. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My that's grandmother used to keep a jar of hard candies, and there was always lemon drops in the house. Sink those out first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is really good with the uh, crayon as well, and it and, and you're right, it turned it right into a lemon drop. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. finish is still medium. Medium. It yeah. actually to me, it kind of shortened it. Shortened it a little bit, but uh, yeah, really good. That's our palette. Try it with the pecan. That's Here. good. Yep. It took the fruit away, though. Yeah. It gave me a lot of caramel. Yeah, more caramel, more oak. I kind of like it better with the uh, uh, cranberry. I do, too. Finish is like hot pepper jelly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or like black pepper. I, I was yeah. thinking oak and black Peppery. pepper, but, but if yeah. You, yeah, I could see your... <clears throat> so, well, let's try it with a piece of chocolate and see what it does. I got a good feeling about this. I think this is going to be good. Oh, 
Oh, this goes much better with chocolate than the first one. That's excellent. Yeah. You taste the whiskey. Mm -hmm. I get a rich caramel, a little bit of that lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of a peppery spice and oak on the finish. Yeah. And you can really, you can, you can still taste that, that bourbon in there. Um, almost like a bourbon ball, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think either that or the, the crayon would be my favorite. Yeah. Uh, two pairings with this one. So. Well, one other thing I want to do before we finish this video. Rosemary bought some tote bags for me. She thought I needed to have a branded tote bag when I take books and such to events. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is the first 10 people before June 1st that will email me their mailing address. These are first 10 subscribers, I should say. That uh, mail me their email address at bourbon, michael at bourbonveach.com. I will send them a free tote bag. That's awesome. So, here's the great Jones distillery. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to everyone's that tote bag. Mm -hmm.